So if I said view plan, would you know what I'm talking about? Well, Google My Business has recently had this kind of annoying little thing coming in from the side, something to do with a view plan. What I'm going to do today is reveal exactly what that view plan is and what you can do to try and work your way through it. So thanks for joining me. I'm Zane from Zanet Design, and I help businesses like yours grow on the internet. So whether it's web design information, WordPress tips, or even Google My Business, growing your business and helping you, these tips are there for you. So follow them and enjoy the benefits that come from getting more local inquiries for your business. So hang around at the end of the video, because if you're into in building up your Google My Business listing, then you'll find us some really good uh, suggestions right at the end that you may want to just uh, follow as well. But before we get there, we're just going to take this little annoying thing that comes in from the site called View Plan, or uh, it kind of has a suggestion of some of the things you need to do to unlock quotes. So if you come across this, it, it was a recent release from Google, and it can be frustrating because people don't know exactly what it means and how to go about it. In fact, there are four that I've noticed on my view plan on one of my clients. It said to add services, to post photos, to add business description and to share your business. So hopefully, as we look at these things together and work out what they mean, if you follow along to and do it for your business, then you'll find that you'll be able to then get this unlock the quotes and see the other benefits that come from having a completed listing. And you may also notice that on your home page of your Google My Business, that there it shares, maybe you've only completed your profile by 60%, 80%. So this is kind of interlinked with those things too. So let's now jump on the computer and see how we can solve those issues. So you may have this situation where it says view plan, uh, complete these tasks to improve your profile and unlock quotes. And this is kind of, again, uh, seems to have come out in the last few weeks where Google now is uh, kind of trying to give you some more direction as to how you can grow your Google My Business listing. So I'm just going to run through um, what these things are on the right hand side. So you may have different ones to these, but these are pretty much the kind of standard ones that go out there when you first um, need to improve uh, your uh, listing. And if you've not managed to add much to your listing, you'll find you've probably got a list like uh, as long as this. So let's just work through it. Uh, your plan, improve your profile to unlock quotes. And it's then given us four things here. So basically what it's saying is, we feel you've not really completed your listing yet. There are things you can do that are gonna help improve it. So let's take the first one, add services. Add your services and get noticed by customers in your area. So all you do is just click on it and it'll take you to where it wants you then to add your services. So in this case, we've got a primary category here, property maintenance, but we can add more services as well. So what services do we offer? Well, we offer um, scaffolding. And then you confirm that and then you can add customer service as well. So you can add that. So the idea here is just to really add information and services to your primary category. So you can do that. I'm not gonna do that in this case. And then that builds up this property maintenance. Okay, let's go back to the other one, post photos. Let customers peek inside your business. So this will click through to your photos. So here you have a few photos, but ideally you want to add a video. You want to add uh, teams at work. You want to add your team members themselves, staff, and then your identity, which will be your logo and your cover. So again, these are things that you'd want to uh, update uh, on a regular basis, really, if you really want to maximize your Google My Business listing. So that'll be the second one. Okay, let's go back and take the third one, add business description. So if we click on this, uh, this is a case of letting you, the biz, uh, your customers know uh, a bit more about the information of your um, business. So if you think about your about page on your website, that has basically all the information about your business. This is another opportunity to do so. So what you can do here is you've got up to 750 
words or, or um, letters to to use in here or characters actually and in here you can then discuss things like my business does this 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 and these would be things that if you really wanted to optimize it you'd mention things that are part of your main category so uh, you'd mention that you'd also mention the towns you serve and you may mention one or two services and products that you offer and you really want to be thinking in terms of writing it for your customer who's going to read it but at the same time you want to think about letting google know what your business actually does because it will take some of this this um information here this description uh, google will heed it and will use it and sometimes even takes bits of it to present what your business is about on google maps so it's a really important part and really my recommendation would be to use up the 750 characters or thereabouts and uh, that will help you there so we'll cancel out of that and uh, let's go back to where we were so what we've we done we've done ad services it's just about some of the services that uh, you can be noticed under in your area uh, post photos is really important particularly when it comes to branding and your logo and making sure you've got customers photos your team photos uh, product photos our business description which is where the customers can learn about what it is you actually do so it's like an about page make sure you've got nice keywords that are relevant to your business in there and finally share your business let's take a look at that let's take the fourth one here so for the fourth one if you get uh, if you click on that it'll then come up with uh, a way of sharing that and the idea is just to share that with people so they can find where the company is um, if you do look at that link itself so we just take that link and uh, see what that looks like it will just bring up your business and it's a really nice way of showing you where you're on the map and how to get to your business and that's uh, really useful so you can use that at any point as well so it just wants you to share your business when you do that and in that way then you can complete um, those four things and then you can improve and move on and that's really kind of a, a way of really building your business as well so hopefully that's been useful So I mentioned at the beginning of the video this is just going to give you a couple of extra tips as well if you're wanting to optimize Google My Business and the way to do this is if you just go to uh, YouTube and search for Zanet Design <clears throat> and then you'll see uh, my channel will come up so if you look you're looking for my symbol here so click on Zanet and that will then take you through to my channels and my playlists and really to max out on Google obviously you've got my latest videos but what I just wanted to point out to you is if you're just beginning then here I've got this section Google my business for beginners and here are some really simple easy to follow Google um, business or Google my business videos that are going to help grow your business but if you've perhaps grown you progressed or you're really perhaps a bit more of an expert I just wanted to point out to you that I've got these other playlists as well so here is one for the beginners which is at the top one for intermediates one for my advanced users and one for my experts so if we just take for instance the, the uh, advanced users um, you'll notice here that it takes you through to um, a video and then on here you've got other ones as well for advanced users so maybe how to embed it into WordPress or how to solve a certain issue that you may have a quality issue all these things can be uh, covered through my videos and what you need to do is just literally work for each one make sure you're following it and in time you will find that your business is going to grow you'll get into the three pack you'll get a tremendous amount of traffic from local SEO so hopefully you can do that if you've never subscribed to me then just click on here subscribe and join the subscribers that are benefiting from these videos because I do continue to uh, produce high quality videos that hopefully you're going to benefit from uh, subscribing and benefit your video from that too and now I'm just going to put a couple of other little videos that you may want to follow that uh, if you haven't already done so then follow one of these two now